After I first visited IMSA, my first impression was, wow, this place is very different. I was scared to death. It was pretty small. It wasn't your average school in appearance or in the student body. More challenging. I'd never seen a school that was so colorful and had so much art in it before. And I thought, wow, this place is really amazing. I'd like to go here. A textbook can't thrill you. You need something much more personal, much more emotional, passionate than, than you can get out of a textbook. But there's no, no substitute for the teacher in the classroom. We prepare students for greatness through challenging courses, courses that ask students to really think creatively within that field. I'll never forget the first class we had. We just walked in there and they gave us some cardboard and duct tape and said, create a functioning boat that can sail back and forth in the pool. I really like the lab experience and integrating that with the coursework because that allows me to learn and retain more information. The mathematics science level, even the history department and the literature department are on the college level. It's a math and science school, but the, all the other classes are just as spectacular. We don't have classes on Wednesdays, so students have the opportunity to go and explore other research. They have this unique experience of witnessing actual scientific research being conducted and they're part of it and very often they contribute to it in a significant way. I had a mentorship at Loyola University Medical Center. The U.S. Hispanic Leadership Institute. The Rehabilitation Institute in Chicago. Because of the research that I did at this mentorship, I went to two international science fairs, one in Korea and one in Japan. Every faculty member has to have at least a master's degree in their discipline. Well over 45% have PhDs and we have many national board certified teachers. And the teacher is very passionate about teaching. The teachers at IMSA really do care about you and they care about your education. Mrs. Kane was the scariest teacher I had ever encountered at this institution because she kept you on your toes all the time and she's so intelligent and she's very critical but so constructive. Dr. Workman, he really pushed me and showed me what I'm capable of. Dr. Dondosh gave me so much confidence, so much confidence I didn't know I had. It's this is great high because you come here and you're with all the other really smart people and you know you have this great confidence but at the same time it's humbling. These kids are so articulate. They talk, they argue, they don't buy anything. They are unusual thinkers. They have this combination of skepticism, curiosity, open-mindedness. Education is so important to them it's not about getting into the best schools, it's about learning, it's about moving forward. Every morning when I get up, I'm excited about coming to IMSA because the students, the students are what make this place. Go IMSA! Woo! Number one! Woo -hoo! Number two, I when I first came here, I was kind of intimidated by the people because everyone comes from different backgrounds. I came from a place where the race was actually 99% uh, African American. And coming to IMSA where you have so many different races, it was just such a culture shock. So in here we have the laundry room. When I first came to IMSA, I was a little scared because I wasn't used to living away from home. Calling my parents at least three times a day. But when you get here, the people here are really friendly and they're not judgmental. Making friends at the beginning was pretty easy because we were all thrown into the same scary unknown situation together. We have 28 full-time resident counselors that live with the students on a ratio of 1 to 24. They do get to know the students academically, emotionally, mentally. My resident counselor here at so always tells me if you ever need to talk I'm right around the corner. We're a small focused environment. It's almost like you have another family. At IMSA, we're committed to students having a full and rich uh, co-curricular and, and outside of the classroom experience. I've been able to start a newspaper. Volleyball and soccer. Yeah, I was in the role for the importance of being earnest. I participate in cross country. Before IMSA, I had never played a team sport. 
But I joined the swim team on a whim, and uh, my second year I was junior varsity captain. IMSA students do remarkably well in the college admissions process. They have accomplished numerous things from attending Ivy League universities such as Harvard and Yale to schools out west, Stanford and Caltech. Um, but beyond that, they are providing uh, new ways to help society grow. A lot of people to twist the doorknob and open the door without causing pain. IMSA has prepared me for life, first of all, with leadership skills. Leadership is one of the foundations of the Academy. We truly believe each and every member of this community can be leaders and will be leaders for tomorrow. Each year we have a new group of students that come in with their own dreams and aspirations and their interest and passion help shape what we do and how we offer our programs. There is a perpetual tide to get better, to do something better, to be innovative, to try something new for the sake of your students. There is so much heart in the institution. There is so much genuine, demonstrated commitment to betterment. To them so you keep on growing. I just can't imagine not going to IMSA. This is who I am, and I'm ready to take on the world.